It's time to talk about the Rebels' not always reliable, but always down for a fight starfighter, the A-Wing. What makes this one of the greatest starfighters of all time, and what are its biggest flaws? Let's find out. When most Star Wars fans think of their favorite starfighter, you get a lot of X-Wing bros who most definitely dream of owning a GT500 or Hellcat, the Y-Wing grind dads who still believe there's no replacement for displacement, and maybe some TIE Defender, Imperial Defenders that simp for anything Elon Musk craps out. But then you get the crazy guys, the ones who live for the thrill of pure speed, riding on the back of their GS6Rs with their sandals flopping in the wind, better known as the A-Wing Adrenaline Junkies. I realize now that unless you're in that weird subcategory of Star Wars fan and car guy, you might not understand all those references. Well, yes, there are plenty more excellent starfighters out there like the Fang Fighter, the B-Wing Starfighter, N1 Naboo Starfighter, you name it. But the big three that turned the tide of the Galactic Civil War are, of course, the T-65B X-Wing, BTL Y-Wing Bomber, and our topic for today, the RZ-1 A-Wing. The scrappy fighter that is pretty much two massive engines tuned for speed and maneuverability, a pair of lasers, and some missiles. Of course, there's much more that makes this great, so let's talk about the details, including its strengths and weaknesses. Built by Incom Corporation and Alliance Underground Engineering, but designed by General Jan Dodana with the assistance of Walex Blissix, the RZ-1 A-Wing was designed to be fast and nimble. It was 9.6 meters long and 6.48 meters wide, making it similar in size to some airspeeders. The A-Wing also had a narrow attack profile with a fuselage height of 1.9 meters. If you were to include the stabilizers, the A-Wing was 3.11 meters tall. The compact nature of the A-Wing was helpful in avoiding laser fire, but its speed was the real positive. Its two Novel Dex J77 Event Horizon engines gave the A-Wing an acceleration of 21 megalites a second, or 5,100 Gs. For comparison, its fellow Rebel Starfighter, the X-Wing, had an acceleration of 3,700 Gs. An RZ-1 could also reach a top speed of 120 megalites an hour, which is 20 megalites an hour faster than the X-Wing. When in atmosphere, the A-Wing, without deflector shields activated, could fly at 1,300 kilometers an hour. When comparing the maneuverability DPF rating, you'll find the A-Wing on par with the TIE LN. And I know what you're thinking. The TIE Fighter sucks. How is it comparable to an A-Wing? Well, for one, the TIE Fighter doesn't suck. It's just average. But it has some things going for it that others don't. Speed and firepower. Sure, it doesn't have proton torpedoes, but a TIE uses powerful laser cannons to shred enemies apart after it has promptly outmaneuvered them. But with an A-Wing, things get a lot harder for TIE fighters. The insanely fast A-Wing can easily keep up with all their maneuvers, making it the perfect counter to the TIE LN. Side note, the highest DPF rankings go to the TIE Defender, TIE Interceptor, and Vulture Droid, followed closely by the TIE LN and A-Wing. Moving on to the more basic details, the RZ-1 A-Wing Starfighter came standard equipped with a Class 1 hyperdrive and deflector shields along with well-tuned sensors, targeting systems, and a navigational computer. When it came to the A-Wing's armament, it was less impressive than its speed. The small interceptor fighter was armed with two Borstal RG-9 laser cannons and two Dimex HM-6 concussion missile launchers, holding six missiles each. Alright, there's the basics on this starfighter, along with some extensive details on its speed and maneuverability. But now it's time to get into the finer critiques of the A-Wing, more specifically its strengths and weaknesses. What makes the A-Wing such a powerful starfighter? The first point is obvious, its speed and maneuverability. When your biggest asset in a war against a massive galactic empire is a starfighter, you use what you have but you also need to be able to combat the Imperial fighters you're up against. While the X-Wing is the premier starfighter of the Rebel Alliance, the A-Wing fills the role of Interceptor. It can punch fast and hit hard before the Imperials even know what hit them. When in dogfights, it can outmaneuver the standard TIE fighter and bring it down with its formidable lasers. When required, the advanced concussion missile launchers gave the A-Wing the ability to punch above its weight class. However, this A-Wing Interceptor wasn't always used for fighting. Because of its hyperdrive, speed, and advanced sensor array, the A-Wing was often used for intelligence gathering and reconnaissance missions. Skilled pilots could quickly drop out of hyperspace close to Imperial vessels or installations, race around or through the formation, and then jump back into hyperspace having gathered the necessary information. Again, all this seems like a positive. Does the A-Wing have any faults? Why yes, yes it does. The first being its highly sensitive controls. 
Like its predecessor, the ETA-2, only the most exceptionally trained pilots could handle its speed, agility, and special features. This was in large part due to its two powerful sublight thrusters and small size. Pilots had to carefully adjust both the dorsal and ventral stabilizers as even a minor turn could result in the A-wing spinning out of control. These hyper-fast sublight engines, sensitive controls, and lack of an astromech strained even the best pilots. The final issue I find most glaring about the A-Wing is the underground nature of most of their construction. This led to the RZ-1 requiring heavy maintenance, not to mention the swivel-mounted laser cannons which were prone to failure. So yeah, be careful because your A-Wing might be in the maintenance bay alongside the Y-Wing. Makes you wish you were in an X-Wing squadron, huh? But in all seriousness, put an A-Wing in the hands of a skilled and experienced pilot, or even a squadron, and you have something that the Empire could never match or counter. Even the legendary executive class superstar destroyers learned not to underestimate the A-Wing, so neither should you. The RZ-1 A-Wing was an early asset to the Rebel cells scattered across the galaxy, even before the Rebel Alliance was firmly established. Thanks to its phenomenal speed, maneuverability, and overall design, the A-Wing is one of the best weapons the Rebels could have asked for in their fight against the Empire. Such an outstanding and loyal design served for years alongside the Rebels and the New Republic, of course being updated with different marks and variations. But that's all I have for you on the RZ-1 A-Wing, the Rebels' tried and true interceptor. Let me know if I missed anything on this legendary starfighter down in the comments below. Blast a like on the video if you think the A-Wing is awesome, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Also, swing by Friday afternoons for live streams where I play games from Jedi Survivor, Battlefront 2, and of course, Helldivers 2. Have an amazing day wherever you are throughout the stars, and may the Force be with you.